Hello, my name is Shelby and welcome to my channel Pages to Turn. Today I am doing a book talk on the Pillage series by Obert Skye. This is the same author who wrote the Love and Thumps series. I don't know how many books are in that one, but there's only three in this one. I have been concentrating on reading a lot of middle grade books this month as it is National Novel Writing Month. And I am actually ahead right now in National Novel Writing Month. Just quick update on that. I have, let's see, about 30,000 words under my belt right now, and that's about three days ahead, so I'm feeling pretty great with that. My plot has kind of stagnated a bit, so we'll see what happens. But anyways, back to the book talk. So this trilogy, um, so I'll just tell you kind of what the first book just is. Pl um, not plot-wise, but just like summary. So we have the main character named Beck. He suffers a great tragedy in his life, so he is sent to live with his uncle in this place called King's Plot, which is like in the mountains. There's lots of fog. And so he's sent to live there, and when he gets there, there's like nothing to do. Like, there's barely any electricity. Well, there is electricity, but it's like old-fashioned things. I don't think they even have a Wi-Fi, for heaven's sake. Like, that's not even a thing. And so he's like bored to death. And this is a kid that he's a very, like he gets in trouble a lot. Like, let me just tell you what he does in the first book is pretty crazy. Like when we first meet Beck, he is literally in an air duct in his school with a bag full of bees because his plan is in his head that he is going to release these bees into the air duct so they will attack everybody and then they'll get out of school. And he gets stuck in said air duct and festivities happen to him because A, they turn the heater on and B, he lets go of the bag of bees and they all start attacking him. So this is the kid that Beck is and he's sent to live in King's Plot where there's nothing to do. So, you know, as you can probably tell, things are going to start happening. Now to make this even more complicated, as you can see by the covers, so here's this one, that's the third book. We have the second book, third book, here we go. There's dragons on all three of them. So yes, they do have these do have to do with dragons. And so in these books, um, he is his last name is Phillips, but it used to be Pillage. And so his ancestors, and he has this gift as well, were really good at growing things. But they were cursed, and the curse kind of backfired on the person who set the curse because they had one guy, I don't know how, he can't even remember how it happened, but he had a stone or something and he planted the stone and then the stone like turned into a dragon. So that happened. And so it's kind of like a curse because horrible things happen when the dragons come, but at the same time, like the dragons go out and come back with cash, hence the pillaging, like not really like dollar bill cash, but cash as in like gold and silver, things like that. And so he's dealing with that in these three books. So it's kind of like a curse. So it's an attempt to break the curse because all the women and the family, they go insane as well as and die. And then as well as all the men, all the men either get eaten by the dragon or also go insane and die. So there's that. And that's really fun to know about with your family. So some of the other characters we have in this book is Kate. Kate is another main character. Then we have Wyatt. He is kind of a side character in the first book, becomes a main character in the second and third, and then Milo, who's only featured really in the first book. And so it's really all about Kate and Wyatt and Beck as they go out these adventures with these dragons, trying to, you know, stop Beck from destroying everything because Beck just cannot control himself. I mean, come on, air booked bees, really. And I gave the first book a 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it, but I gave the second two. I cannot talk. The second and third book, I gave them 4 out of 5 stars because do you ever just read a book and you have to literally stop reading because you were literally like so embarrassed for the main character? I had to do that so many times with this, these books. It was ridiculous because I could just could not handle some of the Beck's stupidity. I just couldn't do it. And we all have that friend who is like Beck, and I've met people, I don't really have a friend like that, but I've met people in my life who are like Beck, and I just kept, like, putting their faces on that character, and, like, after a while, I just couldn't do it. I was like, this is ridiculous, and so I had to put the books away, so they took me forever to finish, but I'm really glad I finished them. 
They're a really solid middle grade book. I'd recommend them pretty much anyone. They're highly clean. So for parents watching these, these are great to let your children read. They're not going to come across anything that's a problem. Also, if you're just looking for a quick and easy read because you're also participating in NaNoWriMo or just don't have a lot of time to read in general, these books are great for you. So as always, have a great day. Happy reading. Subscribe if you aren't a subscriber yet. Like this video. Comment down below if you see any of these books on my shelves that you like and why they're your favorites. And if you would like for me to review a specific book, please comment down below and I will try to get my best to get to it. And I read all the comments. Like to all those of you who have subscribed and commented, thank you so much. It means so much to know that like people are actually watching my videos. So thank you. Have a great day and bye.